Mark Demand is finally back, and today, to start the new year, I have six reasons why you should invest in property in 2018. Top six reasons why you should invest in property in 2018. Number one, it's not cryptocurrency. That's all that needs to be said about that. Number two, housing prices are gonna to continue to rise. You look at any logistical and statistical outlet out there and they're gonna to prove to you and show you that housing prices have not only been on the rise for the past five to six years very consistently, but every single piece of intelligence and statistical analysis that's out there shows that housing prices are gonna to continue to increase on an average of four to five percent nationwide. And obviously in hot spots like Central Florida and Orlando, they're gonna to continue to increase at a premium of that between eight and 10% a year. So the same property that you're looking at today or taking into consideration is going to likely cost you between 5 and 10% more 12 months from now. Number three, foreign buyers are still buying at record numbers. Even though a lot of nations around the world, Canada, Australia, uh, United Kingdom, has had their currencies fall quite dramatically to the US dollar over the past two years or so, they're still buying at record numbers. Even though it's costing them between 15 to 30% more for the exact same property, um, not even taking into consideration appreciation, from the foreign exchange alone, it's costing them a lot more money. But they obviously see the opportunity here in America and how housing prices are continuing to increase and everything like that, um, that Investment money is still pouring in from all over the world. Canada, China, Brazil, England, everywhere. Jump on the bandwagon because they're buying up absolutely everything they can. Number four, mortgage rates are still very low. Even though they've increased over the past year and a half or so since uh, the overall interest rate was increased by the Fed, uh, mortgage rates are still historically at a low. At an average of about four to 4.25% right now, if you take into consideration what they were 20, 30 years ago, eight, nine, 10% just as the normal, 4.5% is still very modest for a mortgage rate. And at the end of the day, if you only have to put down 3%, like a lot of conventional mortgages are offering today, that's an absolute no brainer. Number five, properties can still be purchased with immediate equity and sometimes even immediate cash flow. There are still deals out there, even though inventory is at record lows for the time being and demand is continuing to increase by the day, deals can still be found where you are walking into a property literally and figuratively with 20, 30% of immediate equity. And not only that, but if there's tenants in place, you obviously have instant cash flow. It's just a matter of whether or not you want it to be turnkey or whether you want it to be a kind of a raw wholesale style property. But one way or the other, the opportunity is definitely still there to walk into it and have immediate equity and cash flow, which everybody loves. And finally, number six, new home construction cannot keep up with demand. Even though builders are building at record rates around Central Florida and other parts of the country, they still cannot keep up with the, the amount of demand that's happening right now. Population has increased on an average of 2.2% right now in Orlando, which is absolutely bananas. And if that keeps up, it doesn't matter how many new builders come into market here, there just simply is not enough land to keep up with that amount of demand for houses. You look at these big players such as DR Horton, Lennar, uh, and other publicly traded nationwide builders that are spending billions of dollars in the local areas, building as many houses as they possibly can, they obviously know something that we don't. But fortunately, you can take a page out of their playbook and look at the fact that they're gonna keep investing ridiculous amounts of money in the local areas. If you look at how many houses are being built around Winter Garden and Lake Nona, Mount Dora and St. Cloud for some examples around Orlando, you're, it's absolutely stunning. You're talking about tens of thousands of houses are being put up all at the same time and all of them are selling. Look at that as an indicator that now is the time to buy as many houses as you possibly can, whether you're looking for flips or whether you're looking for cash flow. It's a win-win scenario. Thanks for watching my brand new Market Minute of 2018. Stay tuned for some more Market Minutes and daily deals happening on my YouTube channel. Subscribe below and I'll talk to you soon.